No, I, I started as a lawyer actually. Mm -hmm. For six months I was a solicitor in my hometown in North Iran. But then I found uh, law a little bit, uh, I would say, not attractive. So I wanted something more challenging. So I, th I decided to become a journalist. And four years ago, when, when the BBC started a television service in Persian, I became head of BBC uh, Persian service. So there is a war going on in a way. The Iranians try to jam us. We find we go on alternative uh, satellite, for instance. I think basically what the Iranian government uh, want is to have a monopoly on what Iranian people should know about Iran and the world. And they don't like people to have access to independent and alternative sources of news. I don't think governments can succeed. I mean, especially when you have social media. I mean, in the past, regimes could stop a newspaper publishing an article or close down a radio station. But when you have uh, millions of people using social media, it becomes very, very difficult for any regime really to stop people getting access to alternative sources of news. A lot of people, in my opinion, have a wrong impression of the Iranian political system. A lot of people think it is the president, and currently President Ahmadinejad, who is the leader of the country. But that is not true. The true leader of Iran is Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader. And in this documentary, we are trying to show how he and his office is actually ruling in Iran. Uh, but I'm also talking about safety of journalists, which is a, a major issue, not for BBC Persian, but for journalists around the world.